Hey everyone, you're watching The Esperanza 243. You're watching my book reading project of The Westing Game, part 22. I believe in part 21 we went over quite a bit of stuff. Um, although not as much as what we went over, although not as much as what I covered in part 20. Whew, that was a reading. I think I did read a little fast on part 20, because that was a lot of reading. Either that or I actually took my time, which would be very surprising, considering how much I covered. I believe in parts 21, uh, we got to cover uh, Turtle's Confession and the Elevator Bulletin Board. Grace starts crying because she's realizing her and she and her husband are falling apart as a couple. And so I think Grace has finally realized she needs to be human instead of trying to be perfect for everyone but her second daughter, Turtle. I think that's what made her realize, you know, Angela is this perfect girl. She wants her to marry someone that's a real doctor. And she doesn't care anything about what Turtle wants or anything. She thinks Turtle is invisible. Or not invisible. She thinks Turtle is a mad woman. That's the term. So. And then Angela and Florent Bambach are staying home, avoiding the track meets um, where Doug is racing. And they, Sadell realizes that she had a word wrong of what she was seeing. It's amber waves of green, not purple waves of green. And then I ended it with the last paragraph of Judge Ford realizing Sam Westing is still alive. Well, not realizing, but hey. Reading. <laughs> Judge Ford paced the floor. Tonight, Sam Westing would wreak his revenge unless she could prevent it. If she was right, the person in danger was the former Mrs. Westing. And if Turtle was right about the wax dummy, Sam Westing himself might be there to watch the fun. There was a knock on her door. The judge was surprised to see Denton Deer, even more surprised when he wheeled Chris Theodorakis into her apartment. Hello, judge. Everybody else in the building is going to the track meet, it seems. I passed Sandy on the way out, and he said you wouldn't mind having Chris for the, for parts of the afternoon. I've got to get back to the hospital. Hello, Judge F Ford. Chris held out a steady hand, which the judge shook. You're looking well, Chris. The m medicine helped a lot. It's a big step forward, the intern said. Wrong word. The kid may never leave that wheelchair. An even more effective medication is now in the developmental stage. That really sounded pompous. Seriously, that's what Ellen put, not me. Well, so long, Chris. See you tonight. Thanks, Judge. He knows lots of b big words, Chris said. Yes, he certainly does, Judge Ford replied. What was she going to do with this boy here? She had so much to think about, so much to plan. You c can work. I'll bird watch, Chris offered, wheeling to the window, his binoculars banging against his thin chest. Good idea. The judge returned to her desk to study the newspaper clippings. Mrs. Westing, a tall, thin woman. She may no longer be thin, but she would still be tall. 
about 60 years old. If Sam Westing's former wife was one of the heirs, she had to be Crow. Look! Chris shouted, startling the judge into dropping her files to the floor. She rushed to his side, thinking he needed help. Look up there, judge. Isn't it b beautiful? High in the fall sky, a bee of geese was flying south. Yes, it was a beautiful sight. Those are geese, the judge explained. C Canada ge goose. Bronta c canadensis, Chris replied. The judge was impressed, but she had work to do. Stooping to gather the drops clippings, she was confronted by the face of Sam Westing. The photograph had been taken 15 years ago. Those piercing eyes, the Van Dyke beard, that short beaked nose, like a turtle's. The wax dummy in the coffin had been molded in the former image of Sam Westing as he had looked 15 years ago. Not as he looked now. She searched the folder no recent photographs, no hospital records, no death certificate, just the accident report from the state highway police. Dr. Sidney Sykes suffered a crushed leg, and Samuel W. Westing had se severe facial injuries. Facial injuries! It was the face that had dis disappeared 15 years ago. Not the man. Westing had a different face, a face remodeled by plastic surgery. A different face and a different name. Now what? Her gaze rested on her charge at the window. Feeling her eyes, Chris turned around. The boy has a nice smile. I hope you are better at filling cavities than making false teeth, Turtle said, gripping the arms of the dentist's chair. In a glass cabinets against the wall. Three rows of dentures grinned at her with crooked teeth, overlapping teeth, notched teeth. Those faults are what makes the dentures look real, the dentist explained. Nothing in nature is perfect, you know. Now open your mouth wide. Wider. Ow! Turtle screamed before the probe touched the tooth. Just relax, young lady. I'll tell you when to say ow. Turtle tried to think about other things. False teeth, buck teeth. That rotten buck tooth Barney Northrop stopped by this morning to tell the Wexers they would have to pay for all the damage done by the bombs. Barney Northrop had called her parents irresponsible and had called her something worse, much worse. He sure was surprised by that kick. It was her hardest kick. He sure was surprised by that kick. It was her hardest one ever. Now you can say, oh. The dentist unclipped the towel from her shoulder. Turtle passed her tongue over the drilled tooth. She had not felt a thing, but the real pain was yet to come. Florm Bambach was taking her to the beauty parlor to have her singed hair cut off. Yikes. Yeah, and the singed hair, singed hair happened from her bomb being exploded. College teams from five states competed in the first indoor track meet of the season. But the big event, the mile run, was won by a high school student, a high school senior. That's my boy, that's my dad, Mr. Ho, Mr. Who shouted, one voice among thousands cheering the youngster on his victory lap. Cameras flashed as Doug posed, smiling broadly, index fingers high in the air. I owe it all to my dad, he told reporters. And cameras flashed again as Doug flung an arm around the proud Mr. Who. Just wait until the next Olympics, the inventor thought. With Doug's feet and my inner soles, he'll run them all to the ground. Later that evening, Madame Who 
chattering in unintelligible Chinese, made it known that she wanted Doug to wear his prize to the Westinghouse. Standing on tiptoe, she placed the ribbon over his bent head and patted the shiny gold medal in place on his chest. Good boy, she said in English. A saddened Sandy returned to apartment 4D. Hi, Chris. Did you talk to him, Judge? Talk to whom? Barney Northrup. He was, we he was waiting at the front door when I got back from the track meets, mad as a wet cat. Said he had lots of complaints about me. Never being on duty, drinking on the job, lies like that. He fired me right on the spot. I told him you wanted to see him. Figuring you might put in a good word so he'd let me stay on. No, Mr. McSallers, I'm sorry, but I haven't seen Barney Northrup since I rented this apartment. Barney Northrup was that Westing's disguise. Oh, she figured it out already. Barney Northrup was that Westing's disguise? Ball spike teeth, slick black wig, pasted on mustache? Well, it's not the first time I got fired for no cause. The dejected doorman blew his nose loudly in a Westing man-sized hanky. Hey, Chris. Bet you don't know the Latin name of the red-headed woodpecker. That was a hard one. Chris had to say Melan Melanerpus Erythroph. Dang, that is hard to say. Chris had to say Melanerpus Erythroph. Cephalus, very slowly. Some smart kid, hey judge? Chris, the judge and I have a little business to discuss. Excuse us for a minute. Judge Ford joined the doorman in the kitchen. Our game plan is this, Mr. McSallers. We give no answer. No answer at all. Our duty is to protect Westing's ex-wife. Crow? Sandy guessed. That's right. There's something else that's been bothering me. Oh, there's something else that's been bothering me, Judge. I know it sounds crazy, but... Well, I found out Otis Amber doesn't live in the grocer's basement, and he's not as dumb as he pretends. He's a snoop and a troublemaker, and I don't think he, he is who he says he is. And who do you think Otis Amber is? Sam Westing. Doubt it! Judge Ford leaned against the sink and pressed her head against the cabinet. If Sandy was correct, she had played right into the man's hands, Sam Westing's hands. Come on, Crow. You always like to get there early to open the door for people. Crow had stopped in the middle of the steep road to stare up at the Westing house. I've got a funny feeling that something evil is waiting for me up there, Otis. It's a bad house. Full of misery and sin. He's still there, you know. Sam Westing is dead and buried. Come on, if we don't go, we gotta give the money back. And we already spent it on the soup kitchen. Yes. I feel his presence, Otis. He's looking for a murderer. Violet's murderer. Stop scaring yourself with crazy notions. You sound like you're on the battle... Stop scaring yourself with crazy notions. You sound like you're on the bobble again. Crow strode ahead. I didn't mean that, Crow, honest. Look up there at that moon. Isn't it romantic? Somebody's in real danger, Otis, and I think it's me. Chapter 23, Strange Answers Lawyer Plum was there and one pair of heirs when Otis Amber danced into the game room. <laughs> the turtle's lost its tail, I see. Turtle slumped low in her chair. Florin Bombach thought the short, sleek haircut was adorable, especially the way it swept forward over her little chin. But Turtle did not want to look adorable. She wanted to look mean. And that is where I'll stop. Hopefully there's enough footage for 15 minutes.
because I know I messed up a lot. <laughs> oh, me and my excitement. So, you will get two... So, um, as usual, you will get two videos next week. I'll leave you guys to it. I've already crossed a little more than the usual recording, but that's because there's a lot of stuff I need to edit out. I will see you guys in the next video, and that will be part 23. This is the Esperanza 3 signing out. <laughs>